Yes, you should have seen him. You should have seen the look on his face. He simply could not comprehend that there are, there are still people on this planet who will not compromise their principles for money. Well, Donald, I'm very, very proud of you. You probably don't even care, but everyone around here think it sucks that you're going to pull down the caravan park. I beg your pardon? Do you have any idea how important it is to people around here? Excuse me, but there's what I do to that property if I buy it. Really any of your business? It's not property, it's a caravan park and it should stay that way. Oh, really? Have you even seen a little brown plastic bottle with a white top? What have you lost now? Pills. Um, you haven't seen mine around, have you, Dunk? What? Me heart pills. They're in a little brown Why on earth would Duncan know where your heart pills are? I don't know. I just thought he might have seen them lying around, that's all. What are you doing, mate? School project for Mr. Keller. Keller? He's not to be trusted, that mate. Why would he leave things alone? What's he, um, what's he got you doing? Dad, I'm trying to concentrate. Alf, what do you think these are? Oh, where'd you find them? Presumably where you left them, in the drawer. What time's your appointment? Half hour. Oh, strike me, look at the time. There's no way you'll get there now. No, well, I'll give him a ring and tell him I'm running a bit late, huh? Typical. Number, number, number. No, no, I, I've already confirmed them. I'm just ringing to reconfirm them. Is everything all right, Donald? Oh, yes. Oh, thank you. OK, bye-bye. What is it? Yeah, oh no, it's it's, it's nothing. It's uh, it's just our stocks and shares. The um, the price they sold for. It's a little disappointing. That's all. Oh well, we're still going to be all right, aren't we, Donald? Yeah, yeah, well, we're we're going to be fine, absolutely. And why do you look so worried? I'm not. I'm not. I'm just a little um, overwhelmed by what we're doing still. Now we uh, we did stop the mail, didn't we? Yes, I think so. I'll give them a ring if you want. No, 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 don't bother. Let's, uh, let's get on with the packing, shall we? Donald, wait. I, I can do that. Just... Well, there's not a lot of time, you know. Donald, this is important. <coughs> Donald, how much is all of this going to cost us? Please tell me the truth. Donald, how much? $200,000. What? Probably. Maybe more. But that's nearly a, a quarter of a million dollars. Can we afford that? Yes, we can. Yeah, we can. Just just let me worry about it, will you? Anyway, it's, uh, it's not an issue. Not in a, in a situation like this. Hey, what do you think? It's not very profound, but uh, no one cares. Thanks for your support, Gibbs. Well, I'm just telling you like it is. You're kidding yourself if you think some measly little placard's going to make a difference. You call this measly? No, but you know what I mean. Who cares what you think? Tom. Uh, yeah, it works for me. How many should we make? I don't know. How many you think you can get together? About 50. It's only a caravan park. Only a caravan park? It is only one of the oldest landmarks around here. Only home to some of the most interesting people. And some of the weirdest. This house is going to be bulldozed flat. Do you even care? Well, yeah. I just, I don't understand why you're getting so gung-ho about it. Because this happens to be my home. We should get one of those environmental impact studies done as well. You know, Jazz, it's, it's money that talks, okay? Not placards or environmental impact stuff. What is wrong with you two? Where is your optimism? Isn't that some sort of eye disease? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to work. So, he accepted your apology, eh? Yeah, he said he wouldn't take it any further, but we all deserve a kick up the bump. Mm, well, he wouldn't be wrong there, would he? Anyway, that's the end of it as far as Joel's concerned. Now all you've got to do is contend with me. Come on, Owen. We lost the sponsorship. You said that was going to be it. Well, we'll just have to wait and see, won't we? Hi, Dad. Come in. Mm. Hey, have you guys heard? Marilyn and Mr. Fisher are going to America. Byron's really sick. Yeah, I heard he's really sick. It's supposed to be like cancer or something. Uh, look, guys, um, I think Maz and Don really want to keep a lid on this, but... Yeah, it looks like little Byron's got cancer. Oh, really? But he's going to be okay, though, isn't he? Oh, God, love, we certainly hope so. But all I know is that they're spending every last cent they got to get him there. Yeah, I heard it's going to cost, like, truckloads. Hmm, and then some. Well, maybe we could do something to help him. Yeah. Like what? Get us a coffee, would you, love? You okay, Mr. Stewart? Why, don't I look okay? No, actually, you look a bit stressed. 
Yeah, well, it might be, I suppose. Uh, but forget the coffee eh, and uh, get some orange juice. Don't tell me I've just instigated a health kick. Well, it wouldn't do me any harm, I suppose. Mr. Stewart, may I have a word? My colleague's smart. What about it? Well, apparently she's been residing at the caravan park for many years. Now, God knows what ancient rights and privileges she might invoke if we try to shift her. We? Oui. Now, apparently you you once owned the caravan park. No. Well, could you tell me what sort of rights these people actually have? That I would have you your informed opinion. My opinion? Well, I'll tell you something for nothing, Diana. I won't be chucking anybody out. If I do get to buy the caravan park back, well, Colleen Smart and the rest of them will be saying right where they are. Really? Well, your lack of vision astonishes me. That is a prime sight, right for development. Well, it's your vision, not mine. Yes, well, I suppose I was expecting a little too much after all you are a local. Yes, I am a local, a strange sort of a local, actually, one who uh, respects ancient rights and privileges. Thank you so much for your time, Mr. Stewart. You're not going to win, you know. Yes, well, we'll see about that, won't we? I'll take him if you want, while you're packing. Oh, thank you, Seb. Mm. How are you? What are you doing? Can you come sit down? Look, what have we got here? Look, what a twist. Well, why'd you have to go and get so sick, huh? He's gonna miss you. You reckon? Absolutely. Don't worry, Sam. We'll be back soon. Brian's gonna get better. You wait and see. Pretty good. Hello. Oh, good day, Don. How's it all going? Uh, oh, you know, it's all a bit of a rush, but uh, well, we'll get there, I suppose. How about you? Well, the doc reckons I'll live. Huh. Can I get you something, Mr. Fisher? Uh, yes, I'd like uh, two pieces of quiche with salad and some hot chips for Sam. Thank you. Coming right up. So, uh, what happened about the medical? Is everything all right? Mm. Mind and body are falling apart at about the same rate. <laughs> you are joking, I hope. <laughs> Wish I was. I think I know what you mean. It's odd, isn't it? You reach a certain age and, I don't know, you, you, you expect a bit of peace and quiet, but it never seems to quite work out like that, does it? No. So, uh, you all ready to go, eh? Yeah, yeah, more or less. I'll tell you one thing, though. Nothing could have prepared me for this. Don, um, you, uh, you are okay for money, aren't you? Money? Yeah. Who am I kidding? We'll manage, Alf, somehow. Well, um, I just want you to know that I am good for a couple of bob if you need it. Thanks, thanks. I, uh, I appreciate the offer, but, um... I think I know where I can lay my hands on some cash. Roger? Uh, yes, this is Donald. Yes. I'm fine, I'm fine. How are you? Good, good. Uh, look, Roger, that, um, that money you offered, I've reconsidered. Yes, I understand that. Yeah, 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 I, I, I guarantee that you will have an absolutely free hand with my son's story. No interference, yes. No, no, none. And and you'll agree to pay me the ten thousand dollars, right? Yes. All right. Thanks. Goodbye. It wasn't an easy decision, Marilyn. That film meant a lot to you, Donald. Well, you know, Alan and I, we, uh, we never saw eye to eye on much, but, um, well, I'm sure this is one thing he would have wanted me to do. I'm sure he would have, too. You can't leave it alone, can you? Well, I just think Dunk needs a bit of a hand, that's all. That's just the stupid instructions. They're all wrong. Alf, it's his project. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm just giving him a bit of a hand. Uh, you know, last time he got this revved up over a school project, he nearly blew me flaming hand off. It was an accident. He didn't mean you any harm. Yeah, I know, Alf. I know. You know what? I reckon it's about time we started counting our blessings around this place. I bumped into Don the Savo and... Well, the way he and Marilyn are handling this problem with little Byron, it makes you think, I can tell you that. 
Oh, is this a problem, is it, mate? Yeah, you know, they're, uh, they're showing real...